In this module, we have looked at how easily misconceptions can take hold when trying to make sense of the world around us. More importantly, we have looked at the process required to make conceptual change. Let's summarize this process. In order to make a conceptual change, you must first be engaged in the cognitive process. Often a good instructional hook is required. Here the three experiments to develop the notion that centrifugal force exists and everyday experiences such as turning a corner in a car are used. Once engaged, the next stage is to generate internal dissatisfaction. Without dissatisfaction of a current conceptual understanding, it is not possible for you to move on. It is the teacher's role to present you with a conflicting or alternative idea that leads to a dissatisfaction with your current conception. Swinging the object on a string should cause internal dissatisfaction with the concept that an outward force was being applied. Here, instructional experience is used to expose current conceptions. The trick is to make you unhappy with your previous conception and to create a conflict in your mind. Once your conceptual foundation is on shaky ground, it is important to help you build a bridge to the new conception. Building this bridge requires two pillars easy understanding of the new conception and initial plausibility of the new conception. For easy understanding, you must either construct or be given a framework that clearly explains the phenomenon. Metaphors and analogies are useful tools in this area as they provide scaffolding. For initial plausibility, the new concept must at least appear to be consistent with other theories, knowledge and prior experiences you hold. Continued instructional experience and learning opportunities designed specifically for the new conceptual model will result in the building and assimilation of this new conception. Only by being able to fit this new conceptual model to other situations is the learner likely to finally accept the new conception. However, failing to complete each stage successfully may result in the original concept being maintained. There's nothing wrong with making a misconception based on observation. The difficulty, oftentimes, is accepting a new, more correct concept. To do this, you must be engaged in the process outlined in this module and apply it in new situations.